Hi, my name's Steve. Welcome to another Mind Bomb training session. Today's format's a little bit different. We're, we're going for the quick tips. Um, I'm trying a, a different format for things just to um, see whether we can actually get across in a bullet point fashion um, some more of the, the basic business skills. Today I'm actually looking at the recruitment process and I'm um, thinking about um, great questions to ask a candidate at interview. So I know how it feels when you started the business is growing and all of a sudden you're faced with the whole whole load of new problems with staff and recruitment issues, um, trying to find your way through. Um, again, it's a fairly specialist area, um, but if you can find your way through and recruit um, well, you'll certainly build the business. So uh, without further ado, here's my five great um, questions. So number one, what I would like to try and do is to find out more about the, um, the person's background at previous employment, previous companies. And one of the, the ways of doing that is to um, firstly ask what the, um, the last company's greatest achievements were whilst the, the person was actually employed with them. Um, this should give us a, an insight really into how involved they were, whether they were really part of a team um, or whether they were just effectively on the periphery of um, what they were doing. So if you ask them what the company's achievements were, not what the individual's achievements were, and uh, see what response that you get. So number two, what job would you really like to do if you could do anything? Money no object, if it didn't have to be a um, high paid job or if it was a, um, a passion basically. So look for the, the passions, if they want to be a rock star or whether they want to be a, an artist, a ballet dancer, whatever it is. Um, try and find out what they really want to do. At least it opens up the conversation. You can actually find out a bit more about the the person and then what drives them, what the, the real passions are. Um, it may be it may be peripheral to what you're recruiting for. If you're just recruiting for a, um, a fairly regular job, maybe a shop floor job, something like that, then it may not be that important in terms of um, uh, what they do. It might be something that's um, very much dedicated to their spare time. But if it's a um, if it's a key position, if it's an important position for you, then you can find out a lot from understanding what the person, what really drives the person, what the person's passions are, um, and that's really that what you're trying to, to get at with that question. Number three. So, what do other members of the family do for a living? Either siblings or um, parents. If you can find out a bit more about the, the background for the individual, um, the obvious thing is if you're recruiting for something creative, a designer maybe, or um, uh, something on the creative side of things, um, maybe a graphic designer, a website designer, something like that. Um, and if you find out all, all the other siblings in the, the family, they're all um, uh, research scientists or mathematicians, uh, this kind of thing, then um, maybe the, the CV wants a closer look at and uh, try and work out really why that person's trying to break out of the mould. Um, it may well might be perfectly valid, there might be a, a separate um, separate entity in their own right and they might have their own motivations but it's worth checking and it's not foolproof but it's a, a again a good conversation point uh, to actually start that line of inquiry as to, as to why they're actually looking to um, fill the job that they've applied for. So number four, um, what do you hope to bring to our business? What can you add to our business? And they should have something prepared for this especially if it's a, a fairly um, senior position, if it's a fairly important position for you. Um, so ask the question, uh, it's a bit of a, a move on from where do you want to be in the next five years, but it's the same kind of idea really, whether that person identifies um, with you and your company, whether they actually have thought about what they're going to add um, to the team and add to the business, and um, it's worth asking the question. So number five, ask what have been the most enjoyable aspects of the previous jobs that the person's uh, actually been doing? So you can actually get to the, the whether they're um, a team player, whether they're an individual, whether they've particularly enjoyed certain projects that they've done. Um, try and find out a bit more about what they've done and achieved previously. And again, it just opens up that um, line of inquiry um, so that you can find out whether they were particularly involved in the previous job and um, yeah, see whether they're going to transfer that to your company. So those are the top five tips I have, quick tips for today. Um, really interviewing has to be a two-way conversation and it's all just about opening up that conversation instead of just going through the, the CV that it's presented to you. Um, what you want to do is try to dig behind the scenes and just get the conversation going 
um, hopefully get someone that's uh, reasonably relaxed in that sit sort of um, uh, situation and then you can find out a lot more about what really drives and what motivates them and um, whether that's going to be great for your business. I certainly hope so. Good luck in recruiting. So that's it for today and um, see you next time for more quick business tips.